funny thing, isn't it, with titles and all that sort of stuff? Because when you look at it, a lot of people say, you know, particularly over in America, that titles actually don't mean anything. And I understand that, you know. But I also think it's fascinating when somebody gets introduced in their full title. As you, many people who watch this show know, a lot of people say to me, why do you call, you know, this the ministers, the right honourable ex or whatever? That is the title. That's what you're supposed to say. And when you're in the House of Parliament, or the House of Commons, etc., they have to address them like that. You know, my right honourable gentleman, that sort of stuff. Just protocol. But as we know, Meghan Markle apparently didn't mean like to like titles, wasn't interested, couldn't understand it. You know, she'd met lots of celebrities. What were titles? And there she's sitting next to, of course, her husband, the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, who likes to be called, of course, his Royal Highness, as he was asked and, well, got called and didn't, of course, rebook it, did he, when he was over here in the court of law. So it's fascinating to learn this particular instance. As ever, let me explain. Morning, good to see you. Thank you so much as ever. Nice to have your company. Welcome one and all also, brand new subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting me, genuinely. All free, by the way. You know, we don't charge for anything. I don't want a tip jar or anything like that. It's so much fun doing this for you. Truly, I know it sounds a bit corny, but genuinely is. And let's face it, we're all in a cash strapped cost of living crisis, aren't we? People know who watch this channel on a regular basis, how annoyed I get at the expense of things. <gasps> Just shocking. I was in a shop the other day, right, and a prawn sandwich, this is Marks and Spencer's, was a fiver. Five pounds, sorry, five great British pounds. We call it a fiver. But a five, I mean, a fiver for a sandwich, you know? And even if you bought the prawns yourself and the tomato and Mary Rose and all that, it could not be that. You could make a few rounds of them. You think, how do you justify that? Yet people were buying them. Not me, I might add. Yes. Now let's get back to your royal story of the day. Now, Recently, you know, Meghan Markle's sister, half-sister, should I say, Samantha, pointed out that in a recent court document, uh, they kind of got angry that the, you know, she, her team, etc., didn't refer to Meghan Markle as the Duchess of Sussex. And apparently, you know, kind of got a little bit peeved, a little bit angry. Now, here's where it gets really interesting, I find, because what's fascinating is talking to staff who have now left the employ of um, Meghan and Harry, uh, it's not it's not just there, you know. Oh, no, 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 it's at home. And she has to be addressed as mom after the initial instance. Now, she's got very used to this, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, but a lot of staff who've now gone through that door have told me this and as a fact. She does like to use the title and will ring people up as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. We saw that when she was trying to get into politics a while back. She used that. Of course, she used her full branded name on her book, which the bench, which wasn't exactly the greatest of successes, but there you go. But on a more important note, what I find fascinating about this is, according to that source, this is truly because at some point, uh, Harry wants her to get used to this title and to be addressed like this, because he believes and she believes that at some point they will be recoursed back to the British monarchy. And so we should be using these things because at some point we will be asked back, AKA save the monarchy. You get the picture. What about the kids? Well, yes, you have to call them Prince Archie and Princess Lily, but they don't want to spoil them, of course, but they're fully aware of their full titles, kindly bestowed upon King Charles, who of course, Meghan couldn't be bothered to come and uh, celebrate his coronation. It's a strange thing, isn't it? And what a way to go about saying thank you for a life of luxury that's been bestowed on you. But of course, Meghan only wanted to know one thing when she married Prince Harry. Was he nice? And how we believe that, yeah? Neil Sean in the very heart of...